Welcome to Past Us. Today we'll talk about top six actors who died from Monk. Uh, fix it. I know because the glass here on the table, you still haven't put it back on the coaster. Monk is an American comedy drama detective mystery television series created by Andy Breckman and starring Tony Shalhoub as the titled character Adrian Monk. It originally ran from 2002 to 2009 and is primarily a police procedural series, but also exhibits comic and dramatic tones in its exploration of the main character's personal lives. The series was produced by Mandeville Films and ABC Studios in association with Universal Network Television. There were many cast members in this series, among them, these top six actors are now sadly no more between us. Here's the list of top six actors died from Monk. But before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 6. Stanley Camel Is that possible? Why not? It's so long overdue. <laughs> Happy! Yes. I'm happy. Yes. Yes. And this morning. Camel was most known for his role as Dr. Charles Kroger in the USA Network television series Monk, playing the infinitely patient and ever supportive psychiatrist of the main character, Adrian Monk. Though his last appearance was in the sixth season of Monk, clips of his character were seen later in the series finale. On April 8, 2008, Camel was found dead of a heart attack in his Hollywood Hills home. He was 65. Mr. Monk Buys a House, the premiere episode of the seventh season of Monk, was dedicated to his memory and included a mention of his character Dr. Kroger dying of a heart disease. Number 5. Glenn Headley Glenn Amy Headley was an American actress. She was widely known for her roles in numerous films and series such as Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Dick Tracy, and Mr. Holland's Opus. Headley received a Theatre World Award and four Joseph Jefferson Awards and was nominated for two Primetime Emmy Awards and had recurring roles as Dr. Abby Keaton on ER from 1996 to 1997 and as Leland Stottlemayer's wife, Karen on Monk. Glenn Headley played Karen Stottlemayer on Monk. Glenn Healy died at the age of 62 from complications after a pulmonary embolism. She was a gifted, sympathetic actor, equally accomplished at, at comedy and drama. Number 4. Janet Wright Janet Wright was an English-born Canadian actress and theatre director. She was best known for her role as Emma Leroy on the Canadian sitcom Corner Gas. She performed in many film and television shows, and she also acted in and directed dozens of theater productions in Saskatoon, Vancouver, and at the Stratford Festival. Wright, along with her sister Suzanne, co-founded the Persephone Theater Company in Saskatoon in 1974. They're closer to me. I, when I did Little Foxes uh, last year, I was absolutely uncomfortable in... Wright's first husband, Brian Richmond, became the theater's director. Wright later worked at the Vancouver Arts Club Theatre, where she appeared in and directed more than 40 productions. She also appeared in several other productions in live theatre across Canada and at the Stratford Festival in Ontario. Her theatre work eventually led to television and film roles in Canada and the United States. Wright died on the morning of November 14, 2016, in Vancouver, aged 71, from undisclosed causes. Number 3. Catherine Houston. Katherine Houston was an American television actress. Her best-known roles include Dolores Landingham on NBC's The West Wing from 1999 to 2002 and Karen McCluskey on ABC's Desperate Housewives from 2005 to 2012, for which she won two Primetime Emmy Awards in 2005 and 2008. Houston passed away at the age of 72, but she left us with a full roster of memorable characters Genevieve Holt, Karen McCluskey, and Dolores Landingham, certainly. She also took on noteworthy bit parts on Ally McBeal. Since 2001, she appeared in such shows as Scrubs, appearing in My Old Lady, which won a Humanitas Prize, as well as reappearing in two later episodes, Spin City, The X-Files, Judging Amy, and The Monk as Nasa Gordon Stempler, and approximately 100 other television shows and films. Houston died of lung cancer on June 2, 2012, after an 11-year battle with the disease. I, my first diagnosis with lung cancer was in 2001. When I took the job on Housewives, uh, I made him promise he wouldn't kill me off because I'd just gotten killed on. Her death occurred 20 days after the on-screen death from the cancer of her Desperate Housewives character Karen McCluskey. Viewers in the United Kingdom first saw her on-screen death the day after her real-life passing. Number 2. Tony Armatading Did. Mrs. Tibby, sit, please. 
Tony Armitaging was born in the UK and started his career in 1979 on the BBC TV series Empire Road, Britain's first all-black drama series. Having found his vocation, Tony went to work backstage at the prestigious Birmingham Repertory Theatre, becoming head flyman at the age of 17. Tony Armitaging was a big, warm-hearted actor in the second wave of black British performers who began to make an impact in theatre and television in the mid-1970s. Since coming to Los Angeles in 2000, Tony has guest starred on The Philanthropist, NCIS, Monk, Sheena, Providence, and co-starred in the final episode of Prison Break. Tony Armitrading died at the age of 59 of cancer. News of the actor's death was announced on Monday, 10th May, by the Archer star Tim Benting, who remembered Armitrading as his dearest friend. Number 1. Makoto Iwamatsu Makoto Iwamatsu was a Japanese-American actor credited in almost all of his acting roles as simply Mako. Mako's first film role was in the film Never So Few, 1959. He was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role as engine room worker Pohan in the film The Sand Pebbles. Mako appeared on the television series McHale's Navy several times, playing Imperial Japanese officers, soldiers, and satyrs. He guest starred in an episode of season 1 of Frasier, as well as in an episode of Tour of Duty as a Vietnamese scout. He also was a guest star in the Monk episode Mr. Monk vs. the Cobra. Mako died in Somis, California on July 21, 2006 at the age of 72 from esophageal cancer. After Mako's death, some of his roles, particularly a coup from Samurai Jack, an Iroh in Avatar The Last Airbender, and The Legend of Korra, were taken over by American voice actor Greg Baldwin. Earth is the element of substance. The people of the Earth Kingdom are diverse and strong. They are persistent and enduring. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.